Liberace was the first residency artist establishing the concept in 1944, bringing home $750 a week, and the idea became so popular that the weekly fee quickly shot up. This path created an opening for other legends like the Rat Pack and Elvis Presley, solidifying the fact that Vegas is to be the home of the greatest entertainers in the world. Elvis carried the king of residency crown until 03, when Caesar's Palace built Celine Dion her own coliseum. Her shows A New Day and Celine have taken the top spots when it comes to the most monetarily successful residencies in Vegas history. You can see that Celine is followed by Elton John and then Britney Spears and then John again to round out that top five. Nowadays, it's just part of the experience to go to a show in Vegas. On any normal night, you can see anyone from Usher to Wayne Newton or even the possibility of an Adele sighting. And now that we've added some major sports and working on more, sorry LA and New York, but it's safe to say Las Vegas wears the crown for entertainment capital of the world.